Do I now feed on you? Or are you like dead dead? Can I like suck on you now? No. <laughs> suck on you now. You know what I mean? His blood. Now before we jump into the actual video, I just want to give you guys some information that I got after I recorded and I inquired to the developers. Throughout my play session of the PlayStation VR 2 version, I came across what I can only describe as frame rate issues. I talk about in this video issues with reprojection and talking to the developers, they have told me that the PlayStation VR 2 version runs at a native 120 hertz and there is no reprojection. There is apparently an issue that they are aware of when it comes to snap turning and smooth turning where it might give the impression of reprojection. However, this is going to be fixed with a day one patch. So hopefully the issues that I've had with performance are going to be fixed with this patch, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up before you watch the actual video that this is the case. So apologies for the footage not looking super smooth. I did actually record it at 60 frames per second, but it doesn't come across as smooth as I would have wanted it to. There is some quest footage. I do a side by side comparison further on in the video comparing the two and the Quest version runs flawlessly, super smooth, no issues there at all. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys the heads up before we jumped into the video so you can keep that in mind. Welcome to another video, my name's Sam and today we are checking out Vampire the Masquerade Justice. Vampire the Masquerade Justice is developed and published by Fast Travel Games and this is their second title in the world of darkness their previous one being wraith the oblivion afterlife which was a fantastic horror suspense adventure sort of game where you were in the bartley mansion but here we're jumping into the vampire the masquerade franchise also like i said set in the world of darkness anyway enough chit chat let's jump into the game and see what it has to offer game on I know it is customary for an elder to give fledglings an introduction into the world of the kindred. Unfortunately, you'll have to make do with me. You know me already. I'm Justice. It's not my real name, but I'm not sure that's important to anyone anymore. It certainly isn't for me. Mahmoud, my sire, gave me the nickname. At first just to mock me, then to keep me on the path, as he used to say. Eventually, I embraced it. It's what drives me, and it's only natural that I identify with it completely. I, like you, am a child of Hakim. Our services were called for at times by the New York Kindred Lords, but mostly we followed our own agenda. We killed for the greater good, and we kept to ourselves among the ancient texts and relics he had found over the centuries. And then he was killed and one of his most prized relics was stolen. I inquired among the Camarilla, but no one offered any help. Too busy playing their own power games. That's when he contacted me. Said someone in the Hikata was behind it. That if I wanted justice, I should go to Venice. Local leaders, they're afraid to stir the pot. Maybe something unseemly floats to the surface. It's all politics, of course. Why commit to something today that might bite you in the ass tomorrow? Venice, Italy. There was a Nosferatu waiting for me there. The low ground. Someone that could help me. But Kaiser said he did have an agenda of his own. There was no love between me and my sire. Every sunrise, I cursed him for the life he gave me, but he was right about one thing. The guilty must be punished. I knew that someone had to pay, and the Nosferatu named Pietro would lead me toward them. Okay then, and uh, unfortunately the first thing I've noticed as I'm spinning round is there is reprojection. Oh no. 
and it's quite bad reprojection too. That is, that is, yeah, that is quite heavy reprojection as well, unfortunately. So I'm assuming I need to go over the long reach lets you grab objects from a distance. So very much Half-Life Alex style, point, grip, and flip, flick. This does look very impressive though. Usual buttons for crouching. Come on, teach me to feed. I'm a vampire after all. I need sustenance. Hold circle to blink at high speed across seemingly uncrossable gaps. Very cool. Climb by grabbing objects with R1 and pulling yourself up. Grip button, basically. Use the grip button and do your usual VR climbing. It's weird when I let go. Don't know if that's just a PlayStation tracking thing. It's interesting to see what it's like on the quest. God, these are some narrow ledges. My God. All right, let's blink over there. There we go. There we go. Grabbing of some items seems to be a bit hit and miss. I used to love it here, even with all the tourists doing their best to ruin everything. But I'm almost happy they're evacuating us. I can't stand another day of rain. When will it stop? I don't know. When will it stop? What's this? That's a pen. I'm loving the atmosphere that it's creating. Hello. Your heightened senses can sense hidden details in the environment. Hold L2 and aim your hand to search for clues. If you sprint, the effect will be cancelled. There's a rat. Oh, hello. Oh, look at my hand. Very cool. <laughs> Down here, there's a clue. Okay, key. What's the key for? Oh, back on the key. Add to your inventory. Don't mind if I do. That is from... Wraith the Oblivion inventory system where you can then take it and then use it. That's cool that they're using sim similar, similar mechanics. It worked really well in that. It seems the whole door issue is still a thing from Wraith though. The rain uh, had been pouring down for months. Hello? And just let up. <laughs> the whole city was breathing a collective sigh of relief. It was cold and humid. But I felt something else in the air too. Something unnatural. Like the city itself was trying to keep me away. Hold circle and name it. An enemy released to perform a blink attack. Nice. Using vampiric abilities such as the blink attack raises your hunger. Drink blood from various sources such as living mortals and rats to lower your hunger. How do I know my hunger? Ah, oh, there. Okay. Mmm. Rat blood. Drinking the blood of living mortals also heals you. Grab your victim and lean in towards their happening? neck to drink their blood. Pull away at the right time for an extra boost of replenished hunger. Come here. I don't think I did that in time. I let go, but forgot I had to lean back. Oh well. That was, uh, tasty. I don't know if it's just me, but the frame rate doesn't seem to be... super high and smooth. Again, I don't know if that's just me. It'd be interesting to know what the frame rate actually is. I have to see how this compares to the quest version. So what I, I will do is probably this section around here, I'll do a side by side comparison showing quest three footage with uh, against the PlayStation VR footage. So let's do that from this point here.
keeping my eyes open. What have we here? Ah, a collectible. Health upgraded. Ooh. Okay. So exploring pays off. So I don't know exactly who these guys are yet. But apparently I have to avoid them. No one's getting past me, that's for sure. Too late. Come here. Did you say search the area? No. Don't do that. Yeah, good enough to climb. Well, that was a little nice little snack. <laughs> so yeah, we need to follow the cable and open this door. Is that an open window? It is, and there are arrows. Yoink! There it is. Come on. Gotta do it slowly. There we go. I'm sure nothing will happen tonight. I wish the using an ability like this was a toggle especially for that shadow one because i might want to turn and i can't if i'm holding down this button i'd have to physically turn which is fine but i wish i could do it as a toggle come here i need blood Well, that's not good. Because I don't know how to fight yet. See ya. I'm out of here. There's something in the air. Something oh. uncanny. Give me a wrap. The opposition I faced oh. was far stronger than it should be. Mere mortals shouldn't have put me in actual danger. But they did. I would do well not to underestimate my new enemy. Hello, friend. Don't mind me. I'm also just homeless and looking for a meal. Ah, health boost. All right. I guess we're going down. So it seems uh, the game is broken down into levels. Interesting. Cool. So yesterday I walk into the bar, interrupting Elena, who's beating Rosa. She's losing it. A bit more every day. Okay, we're going this way then. Unless you stay out of Elena's way, your life is gonna get a lot harder and weirder. There we go. Yeah, grabbing stuff seems to be a bit wonky. I hope that gets patched or at least looked into because the whole door thing your hand getting stuck or going through doors quickly is an issue in vr in general uh but it was quite a, a big thing in wraith the oblivion it seems to have crossed over into this cool locations though i can hear something in here it's locked though oh what's that you can use your hidden sense i know Oh, to sense enemy heartbeats and view directions on the wall. Hello. Oh, so if I point, I can see which way they're actually facing. That's clever. I like that. Can I now feed on you? Or are you, like, dead dead? Can I, like, suck on you now? No. <laughs> suck on you now. You know what I mean? He's blood. Okay, grab a victim and lean in towards the neck to drink their blood, pull away. It's, uh, it likes telling me a lot of the same thing over and over again. But this does look really cool. <laughs> Just throw them away. It's like, no, get away. I'm done, I'm full. Oh, wow. Welcome to my humble haven. 
Nosferatu. I am Pietro. Your contact must have mentioned me. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'll pick, uh, nice. Your name was mentioned. It took me a while to get here, but I'd like to learn how you can help me. I have good information for you, which I'll happily share if you help me with a certain task. So we need to go find some dude and uh, persuade him. But a lot of people in the past have said that this game is very much like the Dishonored franchise, which is a huge praise. It's a great thing to say. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Dishonored. So if that is the case where you got missions that you go on and you have some flexibility on how you can do things, you have like a level and it's open world to a certain degree and you can go about how you want to do the mission then if that is the case, then that is going to be great fun. Oh, okay. Looks like we've got a skill tree. Use the upgrade tree in the inner sanctum to unlock your first new discipline. Basically, all I can afford is uncommon appetite. So what does this do? Uncommon appetite. Blood sorcery. Rats aren't tasty, but sometimes their blood is all that is available. This lets you replenish slightly more hunger when drinking their bitter blood. Yeah, let's do it. I had assumed that the group of pale-faced freaks who ran this part of the city were just like any other kindred. That they would put themselves first. And when they had a goal in mind, they would step on whoever needed stepping on to reach it. I was both right and wrong. The Hikata were a family bound to each other with ties deeper than any other kindred I'd ever met. While those ties could be stretched, it would be very hard to make them snap. There's a lot of locked doors that I'm assuming we can come back to later. Now, if you don't want these waypoints telling you exactly where to go, I believe there is a setting in the options that allows you to turn it off. Uh, UI, option, there you go, objective markers. So you can hide those, and they won't be displayed. There you go. So it will immerse you a bit more, allowing you to just explore and figure out what you need to do, which uh, we're going to do from this point onwards. I was heading toward the haunts of Lorenzo, a weak-minded thug who worked for Anna and Rosa, Gula Tendentas to Elena Giovanni. He could be our way into the organization. Pietro had leaned on him before and assured me he would fold easily. Now, I just had to find him. Use Cauldron of Blood to perform a powerful but noisy attack. Select from the discipline wheel, then aim at your enemies. Oh, I have a new, a, a new ability. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, I thought closing it was just going to close it and I had to place it again. Not that it would reach out and grab them. Nice. I feel it too. Chills down my spine constantly. Can't wait to get home when the ship's over. <laughs> you won't be going home. Where do you go? You're over there. Oh, I can punch. Untouchable failed. Oh, well. Good to know I can punch. Didn't know that. Should have thought of that. Nothing to see here. Where are you? You're there. You're still facing that way. I mean, I would like to feed on you. I might wait until you go back that way. Much too hungry. Why can't I reach you? Is my height reset or something? Why am I so small? I'll look over here. No, no, no.
Let me recenter in the game. Nothing here. Whoa, hand. Oh fuck! I need to sleep. Yeah. Fucking nothing here. Okay. Why? Why am I? Why am I really small? <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm I'm me again now. And now I'm short again. Wait, what? I'm crouching. And then some weird. Okay. That's not fantastic. What? What are you doing? You don't look like you're from around there. I am not. Did Pietro send you? Yeah. You have something for us you want to share? I might. <laughs> what is it worth to you? I really don't have time for this. Oh, shit. Uh, you're one of them. Oh, get away from me. Oh, fuck this. Oh, that's Lorenzo. My face. So he's gone in there, has he? Did he just someone run over there? Oi! How did you get up here so quickly? Don't hurt me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you doing this? Because I want some information, and you've left me nothing but aggression. I need, and then you ran. It's a phone. I tapped into Rosa's line and caught them talking about stuff they shouldn't. Hey, undertaking complete. <laughs> so we uh, <laughs> failed both the optional objectives. Wasn't entirely sure what they were, apart from untouchable. I think was being completely stealthy. Hey ho! After mission, you can obviously. It would seem you can come straight back to leveling up. The victim explodes in the fountain of blood, which gushes towards your open mouth, alleviating some hunger. Nice, so it's basically a way of feeding from afar. And that's 1,500, okay. I mean, I would like that. Let's get Unseen Passage, I think, though. Goodbye, all my XP. <laughs> I think definitely turning off the uh, waypoint markers makes things a lot more... Interesting. I was about to say, alas, poor Yorick. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well, Horatio. They sure don't like their boss. What should we do with this information? We could just share it, but where's the fun in that? Better to make sure it is found when we get the most bang for the proverbial buck. And how do you propose we do that? Rosa has her headquarters in an old bar. You should hide the phone in her office, somewhere no one will find it until we want them to. While you were out on the boat, I picked up a thing I think you will enjoy. You can Please find the... it over there. Please be the crossbow. It is the cross crossbow. Open the bolt selection menu by pressing triangle. Create new bolts by holding L2 over the bolt type. Creating bolts raises your hunger. Oh my god, okay. Oh, I literally have to physically pull it back. Okay, cool. Nice. One of 44, so there's quite a few of these. We got the crossbow. I don't know why this is uh, showing. I told, turn those off. I turn these off. Why are you telling me where to go now? Still no sign of the intruder. Yep, I'm keeping the safety off. Yeah, you do that. Can I blink across there? I can. Well, I'm assuming I need to go over there, even though I turned it off. Let's just double check that. Yeah. Objective marker. Hide, yet it's showing. Keep your guard up. And now I've just turned it on and it's gone. <laughs> Guys, come on. Damn it, it's here. Ah! Yep, it's here. See it. You still alive? You are. Oh shit, there's a power cable as well. Everybody keep your guard up. Have you forgotten I'm here? 
He's upstairs. Lost the <laughs> you didn't lose him. I'm still up here. So where's this cable going to? There. I need to flip that switch, but I've got guards around. You know what? Let's have some fun. Oh, come on, come on. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. God damn it. Nothing to see here. Damn it. Keep your guard up. What the hell was that? Okay, quiet time's over, everyone. I'll take a look over here. Around the corner. Nothing in here, but that is so cool, I love that. Let's stay under you. Bit of Golden eye camera skills coming in there. Right, that's that section clear. Find a way into Rosa's office. The bar is closed for a private gathering. Ah, the waypoints are back. Right, let's uh, see if we can find our way into this office. Yeah, we need to feed as well. So they're over there. Would they see me if I feed here? I think they would, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, hi. Hi. Give you a hug. How you doing? You okay? Don't don't mind my arms. They're doing something very weird right now. But, uh, yeah. How's it going? I just, just thought I'd come by and give you a hug. See how you doing? You, you seem a little sad and cold and stuff. Let me get out of your way so you can go somewhere quieter and have thoughts by yourself. No? No? You want to head over here? No? Come this way. Come on. I want to feed. I'm hungry. Come on. No, just gonna... Okay, fine. I'll, uh... Speed on your hip. There you go. Completely oblivious. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh, you know, feeding on people that don't exist anymore. They're gone. It's fine. What are you looking at? I'm sorry, I, I just came in there to... Locked I said you're smiling under that stupid fucking mask. Maybe I should give you something you really need to hide under it. Please don't. Just get the fuck out of here. It's quiet here now, but that could change any minute. Oh, the window. We don't you quickly. <laughs> I was lucky. Whew. They say they've never seen anyone. And out this way then, I guess. Went all in a day's or a night's work. No, nope, didn't complete that one. Didn't complete that one. <laughs> I need to work on my optional tasks. Oh well, we got two out of three collectibles though. Not bad. Someone, I don't know who, kept me locked up for 15 years in a hole under Venice. Every day, they would throw me a rat just so I wouldn't starve to death. They would then, using some dark voodoo, put me to sleep and almost empty me of blood. Every single day, for 15 fucking years. Wow. With all of this blood of mine, they could now easily wield my disciplines. They stole a part of me, and I will never forgive them. So you need my help to figure out who they are? Yes. I think they are using my own powers against me. I trust you'll take care of this. Then we can move on. Find me the place they kept me locked up. Okay. That I shall do, my friend. But if you want to see what happens next in this game, you're going to have to buy it for yourself. Because I'm going to end the video here. So, what are my final thoughts so far with my first impressions of Vampire the Masquerade Justice? It's a stylized art form, I think it works really well. 
it's level based think uh dishonored and you'll uh not be far off there are some issues the door collisions uh a thing there is reprojection there's the whole uh issue with the hiding the markers and them them appearing and then i turn them on and they don't show yeah something weird going on with the user interface there i am enjoying this game i look forward to playing more and finding out what's going on with the story here in venice but I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, my first impressions look at Vampire the Masquerade Justice. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button so it tells others and YouTube algorithm that this is a video worth watching. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed and that notification bell and stick it to all so that you don't miss out on future content. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of all of this. If you can't think of anything to say, just leave your favorite emoji because it's engagement and the engagement is good. I'll also have down in the pinned comment a referral link if you want to pick this up on Quest so you can save yourself 25%. That is for Quest users only though, unfortunately, there is no such system or program for PlayStation VR. But until next time, stay safe, have fun, and game on.